Hi everyone, welcome to Lesson 43. As promised last week, we're going to be looking at another song this week. This is a jazz standard and it's a classic. It was written for uh, a movie called Whoopi and it's called Makin' Whoopi. It's all about the demise of a uh, husband that just can't do the right thing, uh, being married. So in this particular lesson, you have also the backing track and the words. But what I'd like to do now is just to speak through the words and give you a rhythm uh, of how they're sung. And also you can get uh, a little bit of a context of what the, the song's about. So you can say them with me. Remember, it's always important to speak it first before you sing it. Another bride, another groom, another sunny honeymoon, another season, another reason. For making whoopee. A lot of shoes, a lot of rice. The groom is nervous. He answers twice. Well, it's so killing that he's so willing to making whoopee. And then we go into a little bridge. Picture a little love nest down where the roses cling. Picture the same sweet love nest. Think what a year can bring. He's washing dishes, even baby clothes. He's so ambitious, he even sews. But don't forget, folks, that's what you get, folks, for making whoopee. Another year, or maybe less. What's this I hear? Oh, can't you guess? She feels neglected, and he's suspected of making whoopee. She sits alone most every night. He doesn't call her, he doesn't write. He says he's busy, and she says, is he? He's making whoopee. And then it goes into the same sort of bridge. He doesn't make much money, only 5,000 per. Some judge who thinks he's funny says, you'll pay more to her. And he says, he says now judge, suppose I fail. The judge says, bud, right into jail. You'd better keep her. I think it's cheaper than making a whoopee. <laughs> so it's a great little story. The structure of the song is a verse. Verse, so another bride, another groom. That's I'm calling that a little verse. And then it goes, a lot of shoes, a lot of rice, another little verse. And then it goes into the bridge. Picture a little love nest. And then it comes back into a verse. He's washing dishes, even baby clothes. And then another little verse, another year or maybe less. And then another little verse, she sits alone most every night. And then it goes into that bridge again. He doesn't make much money, only 5,000 per. Some judge who thinks he's funny. And then it finishes with a verse. So that's the form of the song. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to sing it with the backing track. Okay, so here we go. That's the introduction. Intro. Another bride, another groom, another sunny honeymoon, another season, another reason for making whoopee. A lot of shoes, a lot of rice, the groom is nervous, he answers twice, well it's so killing. That he's so willing to make a whoopee bridge. Picture a little love nest down where the roses cling. Picture the same sweet love nest. Think what a year can bring. He's washing dishes, even baby. Close. He's so ambitious, 
He even sells, but don't forget, folks, that's what you get, folks, for making whoopee. Another year, or maybe less, what's this I hear? Oh, can't you guess? She feels neglected, and he's suspected of making whoopee. She sits alone most every night. He doesn't phone her, he doesn't write. He says he's busy, and she says, is he? He's making whoopee. Preach. He doesn't make much money. Only five thousand pounds. Some church who thinks he's funny says he'll pay more to her. He says, now judge, suppose I fail. The judge says, but right into jail. You'd better keep her. I think it's cheaper than making whoopee. Than making whoopee. Than making whoopee. Whoopee, whoopee, whoopee. And you can just ad lib how you choose at the end. So there we have the beautiful song called Make an Whoopee. So see how you go with that one this week. And as I say, you can always, I'll just put this down here. <laughs> you can always uh, Google um, that particular song to, to see how the uh, professionals are doing it as well. Lots of different versions. So I hope you enjoy that one. And it's a, a great, it's a fun one, that one. <laughs> That's really good. All right, so in the meantime, remember that nice placement of the voice? He's washing dishes, even baby clothes, and nice marshmallow. Not he's washing dishes, because you're not get the, going to get the words out in time. He's washing dishes, like you're talking it. He's washing dishes, even baby clothes, even baby clothes. He's washing dishes, even baby clothes. He's so ambitious. He even sews. He's so ambitious. Now get it tucked up. He's so ambitious. He even sews. But don't forget, folks, that's what you get, folks. And just make it really easy. Don't put too much energy into it, remember? We don't want to get in the way of an otherwise easy process of singing. And then he says, now judge, suppose I fail. The judge says, but right into jail, I think it's cheaper. Uh, you'd better keep her, or the other way around, than making whoopee. And when you sing, than making whoopee, whoopee, than making whoopee. So you're a little bit tantalizing, whoopee, or whoopee. All right, so experiment a little bit there too. All right, in the meantime, I've got rhythm, I've got music, I've got my man who could ask for anything more. Have fun with that, and we'll see you next week. Bye, everyone. See you.